this is Patty, and I am in Andersonville, Georgia right now with John. Hey, everybody. With HSFL Paranormal from California. Yep. We are here at this outdoor prison from the 1800s. Uh, it's very interesting. John's been telling me a little bit about it. I'm going to turn the camera on him and let him explain a little bit about this prison to you guys. So back in the times of the Civil War, uh, this was a prison camp for Union soldiers. The Confederates, uh, Confederate soldiers uh, had this prison to house the almost 45,000 Union prisoners that were kept here. It was the largest prison uh, in the Confederacy. And the conditions here were absolutely deplorable. It was an all outdoor prison. Uh, 13,000 people had actually died from the conditions and being shot by the Confederate soldiers. Um, and if uh, she could show these pylons right here, that's actually what is called the deadline. If they tried to escape past that line, they had people on these berms right here, and they would actually shoot them from that line. And where's, wait, where's you the berms? You can see the berms right here. Oh, okay. Um, and they're wow. all set up in the other berms over there. And uh, Wow, yeah. so that's what that means. I'll pull up a little bit. I wanted to mention this first. Uh, it says Wisconsin on it, and I asked John about it because we're in Georgia right now, and that says Wisconsin. Explain that again. So the, these were to basically remember all of the Union soldiers who died from Wisconsin and were em emancipated by the... Uh, the Confederate soldiers after the war. That's pretty cool. Um, it says, let us have peace. It says, this monument um, let's was see. erected by the state of Wisconsin yeah. in, or, uh, in careful remembrance to her sons who suffered and died in Anderson Prison from 1860, or sorry, 16, or 1864 to 1865. Wow. It was only open for 14 months and 13,000 people died here. Thanks for reading that for me because I was having a hard time. I can't see that far. Um, okay, so over here, here's this one here. Oops, shoot. That one is the Rhode Island Memorial. It says Memorial. Rhode Island. Okay, so there's a Rhode Island Memorial right here. Look at that. And this is all here in Georgia. And there's where it says deadline on that post yep. right there. That was one of the, that was the deadline. So if they cross that part, they would shoot them. Imagine how many people probably lost their lives right there. Yep. Wow. Okay. Keep going. And this uh, is so big guys. We're doing some of this filming from the car because it's extremely hot outside right now here and it's yeah. like probably 90 degrees so we figured we'd do some of the filming from the car so and as you can see that is a long walk to see all this so uh anyway so that's from rhode island um and then there's one over there let's see if you i see can see massachusetts zoom in. right here where oh cool massachusetts we have some family in Massachusetts which is Lou Michigan Rock and Mama Rock there. Michigan that's Michigan back that mm -hmm. back there okay yep. so that's Michigan that's Massachusetts right there the big one is Ohio in memory of her sons who died in Andersonville in 1884 to 1885 uh, here's another a couple more of these posts that say deadline and then the this first line is the stockade so this is where the wall would have connected to that brick way down there okay see that brick pillar at the end yeah yeah that would have been the wall here oh okay so if they try to escape that wall and hit the second line here the deadline they would have shot them wow that one's ohio oops sorry i moved the camera down and realize it that's from ohio right there mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple. They should have wow. had them all from the Let me the zoom this states. back out a little bit so you can see it. Look at that. That's beautiful. So these would have been all the Union states who did all these memor memorials. Wow. I can't see, I can't see that either. That one is. Uh, it's hard to say. Um, let me zoom in on it. Maybe I can see it. 
Oh, Tennessee. Is that Tennessee? Yep. Okay. So that's Tennessee. And that's to uh, died in Confederate prisons because mm, some of the Confederates, uh, some of the Union soldiers were from Tennessee. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And then this is part of the outdoor prison right here, and then right? That's New Hampshire. And all oh, that that's ones. okay. New Hampshire. And then this this right that here is the is... front gate of the stockade. Okay. And they had a guard tower at the top. Wow, you can see where the guard tower was. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. So this was an outdoor prison, you said, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they would have had Holy all these crap. people. You see that little building down there? That is the artesian well where they would get their water supply from. Okay. We'll take a drive down there. I think this is where we parked the last time. You can hear the well running down below. And they said the smell was so bad at that time they could smell it 10 miles away down in Americas. Wow. From all the fecal matter. Look yep. at that. So that yep. was an outdoor prison. Yep. Holy smokes. I've never heard of an outdoor prison until I now. I haven't either until I came <laughs> here. Wow. So, you, this place doesn't disappoint. A lot of people lost their lives here too as well, right? Yes, 13,000 people would have died in this area. That's a lot of people. In one year. Oh my god. I mean, that's as much as some of the battlefields. Mm-hmm. If you really think about it. And are they buried all around well, here? they're or? buried in the cemetery okay. over on, on We're about to go sure. there next. That's where we're going, guys. We're taking you there next. Mm -hmm. um, just wanted to kind of show you all of this and I guess that right there you is where they got where their the deadline ran where they got their water from right there it was like a little well house now what was it that deadline ran all the way through that field up there mm -hmm. you can see where those pillars are that's the other part of the deadline oh wow okay yeah, and then this is where they drank out of okay guys we're gonna walk up here to the uh, outdoor prison area and check out what it looks like on the inside. This is pretty cool. There's a little bit of a, a sign here that kind of explains about this outdoor prison. The trail follows footsteps of newly arriving prisoners. Captured Union soldiers marched from the village railroad station past this spot and uphill to the north gate, the main prison entrance. After prisoners passed through the outdoor, the, or the outer door, it was barred behind them. Then the inner gate swung open to the prison yard. New arrivals, or fresh fish, as they were often called, had no idea what awaited them here. Wow. 500 weary men moved along slowly through the double lines of guards. Two massive wooden gates with heavy iron hinges and bolts swung open as we stood there and we passed through into the space beyond. We were in Andersonville. Jeez. Okay. See that sign right there with the yellow look at Look at all this. I don't know if you can see that. It says, beware of venomous snakes. Oh my God. Oh yes, I see that. Mmm. So we have to be very careful. There is actually signs up saying beware of venomous, venomous snakes. Yeah, from what I heard from them, they said they've seen rattlesnakes and copperheads. Oh God. Yeah, I thought I was scared of bugs. Yeah, if you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. Just gotta be careful where you're walking. Okay, I'll just stay right here on the concrete. It's too hot right now for them to be out in the cement. They would probably be here later in the evening. Yeah. You, this here looks like it's probably original from back then, you Some think? kind of a wall. Yeah. Oh, wow. Providence Spring. During a heavy rainstorm in August 
1960 or no 1864 a spring suddenly gushed from this hillside the prisoners were desperate for fresh water and over time the event became legendary several men claimed to have seen lightning strike this spot just before the spring burst forth this damp slope with its many natural seeps would appear to be likely be a likely site for a spring workman may have inadvertently buried springs outlet while digging the stockade trench whether an act of nature or divine providence the effect of the stream was an ant was an answer to the thousands of prayers wow look at those guys bases of the past right there You can see Getting this guy some water. in un Union uniform. Mm-hmm. This guy was probably a slave. This comes, that's probably some of our ancestors. You never know. Yeah. Well, actually, I do have a uh, family from Ohio that was at this prison. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, My wow. My dad traced it back here. Oh, wow. They were part of the Union on my dad's side, and they were here at Andersonville, but they survived. I hear water running, so Be this careful is... careful of going in there. There are wasps. Oh. I just scoped it out. I think I will stand right here, then. Wow, look at that. Yeah, there's a big old wasp nest over here. Providence Spring. And that artesian well ran right down through here, so they would have drank out of this trough, most likely. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. Alright, watch out for snakes. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing we need to do. Mosquitoes and venom snakes. So I guess this was the spring they were talking about that erupted here, and they all had drinking water. And here is a trough that they probably built. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. We just cool. discovered this here. We're not really sure what this was, but it looks like Some it was kind a... Of walkway. A walkway to something that they built. Probably down towards the well. Yeah. It must have been like a brick road or something at one point. Who knows? Could have been, yeah. Be able to walk up through here. There's a little plank right here that we can just walk up. Quite wow. A real experience. This is crazy. So I guess this was one of the world's largest prisoner of war camps. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Closely hey. fit in logs. So this is what it would have looked like, Patty, back then. Oh, wow. So they would have had these log walls. The second line here would have been the, the dead line. Okay. So if they got past this first one, they would have been shot from these towers. Oh, wow. And you see you had Confederate guards yeah. here. And they had added 10 acres onto the already 16 that they had. Okay. Which would have been that, that side of it where that tractor is now. Okay. Mm. Watch where you're walking, Logan. I know. Look at this. Wow. The original plan had broke down over the overcrowding issue. Holy crap. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this.
world of lost spirits. When the inner gate swung open, new prisoners had their first vision of life inside. The noise, the stench, the crowd of emaciated men desperate for news must have been overwhelming. Wow. New arrivals were known as fresh fish. Anything of value, money, buttons, clothing might be conned or stolen from them. Even worse was the sight of other prisoners in those skeletal forms and lifeless eyes. A new prisoner could foresee his own fate. That is horrible. And we think the world today is awful. This is just horrible. This was one of the most atrocious prison camps. Jeez. I don't know how they did this day after day for a year. I don't know. Once inside, men explained they or exclaimed in this Hell, verily, the great mass of gaunt, unnatural looking beings, suit begrimed uh, and clad in filthy tatters. Oh. Holy shit, that's a military plane. What? What the heck? Stalking the outside or inside this pen looked indeed oh gosh hold on whoa oh that is so cool right over a, a civil war site wow they were going in high speed dead ass wonder if there's another one coming Usually if so i want to catch him in flight three. here i think this oh, is there's, the, another one. there's another one oh here it comes look guys look 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 what? Wow. It sounds like you're over here. It sounds like you're back there. That is so cool. Look at that. They're doing a training mission of some kind. Yeah, for sure. Wow. There's some fancy maneuvers. There's some That's fancy some maneuvers. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's pretty incredible to catch that on camera. I'm really excited yeah, about that. Cool. This is about... crazy though. Wow. About that day, it is so hot out here, guys. This is what I hate about filming in the summertime. I enjoy filming in the winter. Yeah. The summertime sucks. Yep. No matter where you're at, it's just so damn hot. And it, well, indoor places are not too bad, but outdoor, ugh. It doesn't ugh. matter if you're out west or out east, it's hot. So imagine how many people probably lost their lives right in here inside this area. Many. Do you want to put your tape recorder on and see if we can catch something? And this I'll turn my spirit box the on. Gate. Oh, the admittance gate. So any, all the admittance gate. Out there. Who died, well, because this was the original 10 acres. So this, anywhere from that bridge to the bridge over here, and that. This is the newer addition. Okay. Built about six months down the road to oh, accommodate okay. the overflow. So I mean, right around this artesian well. I mean, you had probably people dying all over the place. Oh my God. Yeah. That's really sad. And they had to have had some kind of a hospital. Mm-hmm. Which probably did not treat them very well. Yeah, I'm getting tore up by bugs. Holy Damn. crap. I would love to come back here at night time. Yeah, let's go over to the cemetery, guys. It's just way too hot right here. So that's the old south gate right there. We just walked around over there at the uh, PO... We just walked around over there at the POW camp, and we went ahead and left that area because it was extremely hot, and bugs started eating us up. So we're hoping that we did catch some uh, whispers or something on our camera, but we won't know that until we watch this back. 
we're gonna take a ride through here and uh, John's gonna tell me about some of the other things that we see here. He's my tour guide. Stockade. That's one of the other stockade walls. Oh, oh shit. I'm going off the road here. It's okay, my dad was driving in the grass. <laughs> up here on the hill this is another one of the berms you can see the old cannons oh wow yeah right now the they got you can't go up there you can't go they up took there out the little bridge a cannon right over there guys i don't know if you can see it or not but it's right over there if we go let's see i'm not sure what this is here but it runs all the way up this must have been some kind of Runoff of some kind. It must have been, yeah. Or water it could have or been something. one of the, it could have been the footstones for the actual fencing. Yeah. For the stockades. A lot of sadness here, I can feel it. View from Pigeon Roost. Wow. This photograph was taken in August of 1864 from a sentry box just downslope from here. The photographer was A.J. Riddle, who was preparing a report for the Confederate government. Riddle's seven glass plate negatives were apparently the only photographs taken of Andersonville prison during the war, like a double exposure. The surviving photos superimpose the historic reality on today's pastoral scene. You're looking at the same piece of ground Riddle photographed. And just one of those shots could have taken well over a minute to capture. Yeah. Wow. Oh, here's one of the cannons up close. Okay, good. Here's a cannon up close here. I hope my air conditioning doesn't uh, affect this footage, but it is so hot I have to run it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have to run it. So right up here ahead of me is one of the cannons. And what was that right there, John? So this is just one of the exterior walls of the stockade. Okay. So it would have looked that way all the way around. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. And here's another one of the berms that were pointed outside of the gate. And here's some cannons. Dang. The cannons. So the cannons would have been a secondary line of defense. And I'm going to try to cannon. do my best to zoom in here. right there. I'm going to try to snap a picture of it as well. Expanded stockade. So now we're going to take a ride over to the cemetery where all these folks are buried. And there's a lot. And there is a lot. And here's more of that dead one. I may have to make that a part two video if this one is too long. If so, it'll be out. I'll try to put them out back to back, like within a few hours apart or a day apart. If you're ever in Andersonville, Georgia, definitely come check this out. But come in the winter time or the fall. Just about 10 miles north of Americas. Yep, 10 miles north of Americas, Georgia.
Okay, explain that to me, John. So they dug these trenches uh, to bury the dead, and because there were so many people that died all at once, they actually pretty much stacked their bodies in a line and, and put these, it's on both sides here. Oh my God. This is all what? Civil War. I have never seen anything like this. You'll see it. it says like New York, Massachusetts. Illinois. Oh Illinois, my God. Indiana, Ohio. Michigan. Wow. So they're buried here then. Yes. You said stacked all yes. together. So these are tombstones for the people that are buried yeah, here. They're buried underground in a line. In a line. They weren't even put in coffins. Oh my. Their bodies were just thrown in a Wow. Pitch. That's horrible. Look how far it goes back. This yeah, it goes look at this. Look at this guys. Oh my. There. That's an Iowa monument. Holy smokes. This is where we definitely want to tr try to use the spirit box and yeah. things like that. Even if, I mean, I know it's hot and the bugs are bad, even if we have to find some shade or do it oh, from the car. Under these trees. Okay. And then World War II in Korea. So these soldiers all died in the war. And, uh, so you see Vietnam. Mm-hmm. So the, uh, that person died in Korea. Vietnam. Oh my gosh, wow, look at this. It's all these ones that are all the Union soldiers. There's over 25,000 people buried here. Over 25,000 people buried here. Massive monuments, that sign says. He died in Korea. Oh, I know, he died in... He fought in Korea. This is part of the National Cemetery. So he died in 2018. Oh, yep. This one's 2018. There's a couple of them that are 2018 there. Oh, yeah. There's more than that. There's a few. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a... Shoot, there's the first four. The first four in the front here died in 2018. U.S. Air Force. Oh, wow. Yeah. These are all these are all Union soldiers. There's a lot there's nine hundred and eighteen unknowns. Really? That's the six that are buried alone. Remember the... Oh, yes. I heard about that. The Raiders' graves. The Raiders' grave. Okay. There's six graves that are over there by themselves. Right? Right there. Right there. Let me zoom in. Right there. This is Indiana, 1908, Indiana. Okay guys, so we're sitting inside this pavilion area here at the cemetery and um, I just feel so sad, John. I it's like too. so much sadness here. 
but it's extremely hot out and every single one of those graves are directly in the sunlight so we figured we'd come over here underneath this pavilion where it's a little bit cooler there is a nice breeze here and see if we can't make communication with some of these spirits here of this cemetery i mean we don't have to necessarily be right on their graves to talk to them i mean if they're here they're here they're going to come talk to us there's a lot of sp there's a lot of people buried here so i'm sure this yeah. whole place has some kind of an energy and uh, so we're going to do that right now so right now patty is going to be using her sp7 spirit box and we're going to try to see if we can make any communication with some of the spirits of uh, the confederate or the union soldiers that are buried here uh, there was over 13,000 of them, so let's see if we can uh, talk to them. Powering on. Okay. Hello there, my name is Patty, and this is John. And we speak to spirits. If there are any spirits out here that would like to come forward and speak to us with a message of some kind, we would appreciate it. We know a lot of people died out here. It's very sad what happened to a lot of you. Could you tell us your name? How many are with us right now in spirit? If you'd like to talk to us, you can come forward and speak. Yep. Yep. Department. Do you like what they've done with the uh, the site out here and your memory? You have uh, it's beautiful grounds. Yes, it's very beautiful. Thank you so much for serving our country. Yes. Thank you for your service. A lot of you have been here over 150 years. Do you have a message for your loved ones? If any of the Union soldiers are here with us, can you tell us what state you were from? Sorry the conditions were so bad. Can you tell us how old you were? Has anybody tried to communicate with you before? Do you want to communicate with us? You're trying, I can hear some stuff coming through. You want to see if you can thank you so much and um you can also communicate you, oh, you can still communicate with us uh, he has a couple devices right here on his uh this little thing that he has sitting up on the chair if you can get close enough to it we can possibly hear you from that as well hello spirits my name is john i'm here with my friend patty Would you like to speak with us? Could you tell us one of your names? If you were one of the Union soldiers, could you tell us what state you were from? Okay, so I'm gonna walk along this this uh, wall edge here and see if uh, I can catch anything through my camera. I can't even begin to imagine what it must have been like for you guys. Just reading it just makes me cringe. So sorry that your lives were like that. 
we think we have it bad here now. I read stories like that. It's just, it's heartbreaking. It makes us realize just how lucky we do have it right now. I see some graves along this wall right over here too. Bugs are just bad. They're just like bouncing off your face. It's crazy. I literally hate filming in the summertime outside. Robert John Grebel, Sergeant. He died in 2014. He served in World War II. Yep, served in World War II. This one, 2019. 2014. Heck, five. Born in Indiana, died in Georgia. The U.S. Army, World War II, Tech 5. Mm -hmm. uh, they served in Vietnam as an Air Force. Yep. Air Force. They, uh, the U.S. Navy in Korea or Vietnam. Okay, let's just be real quiet for a minute. I'm going to see if they can catch some EVPs through my camera. Hello there. Is there anybody with us right now here in the spirit world? You can come and talk to me. Say hello. If you can say your name also, that would be great. I'll try my best to hear it and make it out. Bugs are horrible. I just can't get over how bad this is. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here. If there's any spirits out here and you can hear me, come talk to me. Give me a message. I'm getting ate up. Do you feel it? Yeah. They're biting my hands. If you could give me a message, that would be great before I get chewed out of here. Well, see, these are just numbered. J8382. Oh, wow. Some of these don't even have names on them. Oh, they do? Okay. Thomas Peter Clark, SR, CLP, or CPL. He was born in 1930 and died in 2018. Oh, that's new. Yep. Wow. It's beautiful what they've done for the military people here. There's an honor. Oh. Ow. Okay, I know. I'm getting chewed, literally. These bugs are just bombing us. It, it, this is bad. We're getting ate up so bad. It's awful. Did you catch anything on the uh, just that weird like tape recorder? Like that weird interference. I don't know what that was. Well, we can review it even from the motel room later and record it. And these here were all the prisoners. These here were all the prisoners, guys. This is where the prisoners are. I'm gonna pull up here in the shade and turn my spirit box on right here from the car.
Iowa honors the turf that wraps their clay, the unknown. These are the unknown. Oh my gosh. Wow, it doesn't have a year or anything. It just, they're numbered and they have, um, they're numbered and they have na uh, a name and then what state they're from. Oh, it does have their names on some of them. Yeah, some of them do. here uh, with my dad and I've actually recorded this on the deadline and it clearly sounds like somebody moaning wow you hear all that wind coming through that was when the storm was coming in what would you ask him can you tell me your name or your rank? Oh, okay. You can hear something trying you to You hear something, through. yeah, definitely. We're going to go back over to that spot now. Guys, this is actually where I had captured what sounds like a moan on the deadline where the Confederate soldiers had shot anybody who was trying to escape. Now listen to this. You clearly hear what sounds like a moan. Wow, yeah. Something up. And there's more on here. Like, it, there's another part I'm going to have to find that sounds like it, literally a pack of dogs. And yeah, you I let me hear that last that night. One. I heard that last night. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Can you help me? I need help. Is what it yes, sounds it like. does. Can you help me? I need help. Can you tell me which way that you passed away here? What? John is attempting to make communication with some spirits right here by the deadline. Okay, John's listening back to the responses now, and we believe we got a good response here. Sounds like a yes. And it was a question. So I asked if they had died next to the Southgate deadline. And it yes. sounds like a yes. Yeah, it does. Wow. Another little whisper, but it's hard to make out. 